on a two valve head, this rocker comes down and just pushes directly on the top of one of the valves. So it would like push just right on here. Um, and that's how the two valve works. There's no cap or anything on the top. But on the four valve head, the rocker comes down and touches what's called a bridge. And then this bridge spans the two valves together. And so when it gets pushed down, then it pushes them both open at the same time. That's how the rocker setup is. So I, I have a, an extra four valve 871 head here, and I'm gonna steal all the rocker components off of this one, the bridges and everything, but I, I'm still short four bridges, I believe. I'm gonna have to go through all my parts. I don't think I have any extra bridges. Um, so I'm gonna need to get some more bridges. I'll have to probably just buy them from the machine shop. I'm sure they sell them there. Um, I was hoping somebody could have some they could send to me, but I don't, at this point, time's getting a little short. Um, I mean, I've, I should, should have had some extra ones here, but I don't. I've got all new rocker um, assemblies that I'm going to put together um, in my spare parts piles. So every, everything should be new on the top end when I'm done. I have a whole bunch of new old stock parts. Um, I just got to watch it because some of them, like a little bit of surface rust on them. I need to inspect them real good. Make sure there's no issues. Like there's some little bit of that up a little bit um, but like these are no good there's a little bit of rust that gets on them I mean stuff stays in these this is a lot of stuff that I bought from a bus company that went out of business most everything is pretty good it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit um, but then looked at real close so it should be better than the used ones that I have if I need to replace some of these will uh, but I've got a whole bunch of them to go through uh, but as long as everything seems to work real well and that feels nice no issues on the inside once I get it cleaned up but I'll get them in a parts cleaner oil them up I'd rather use new because the ones on mine uh, the rockers these are really severely worn um, so I'm gonna go back to new these don't typically get a lot of wear if I had new that were in good shape I was gonna replace them I've got I've probably got 50 of these, but they're all in that kind of condition with the rust on them and stuff, and that's just not worth messing with still. So anyways, I've got a complete set, because uh, these are all different. So you have, this is a center. Uh, you can see this one is wider on one side than the other, and this one is wider on the other side. It doesn't look so healthy. So like this one, I'll go grab a different one for it. I don't even want to mess with that. Um, the least amount of rust on any of these new old stock parts that I have, the better. Uh, so that would make the complete set. The fuel injector one is the one that's wider in the middle. And left valve, right valve on there. One thing to mention is you can't screw this up because if you put the left one on the right side, so if I tried this one over here, you put the skinny side up against it, uh, it would wear the back touches. So but they are all three different part numbers. And that's how they go. I had asked uh, about the four valve head. They were concerned that you know, when you see a regular head, it's got four valves on it, like two might be intake and two are exhaust. These are, when these four in this one cylinder here, they're all four exhaust. So they all four open at the same time. Uh, there is a timing difference between a two valve and a four valve head. So there's a slight delay before these open in the four valve head, because you don't need as long, because so much more air can come in or out. But all, all four of those are in the exhaust port there of the head and then the intake is the holes in the liner so as the piston is moving in the liner as it comes down the blower is always charging against here pushing pushing air into here so when the piston drops down then the air can go in and if the valves are open it pushes the exhaust gases out filling this with new oxygen and then when the piston comes back up it essentially closes the valve it shuts this off and then the piston goes up compresses the air fires comes back down and then once it gets to here, again, the new air can be pushed in because the blower, again, is always pushing against it. 
So it's pushing the gases out, adding new oxygen, piston comes up, it closes it off, goes back up. That's how it works. It's a two stroke, it all happens in one revolution. So as the piston comes down, pushes the exhaust gases out, fills it with new oxygen, compresses, fuel injector fires, ignition, comes back down, exhaust. So two strokes, so the stroke would be an upstroke and a downstroke. And that is how a two stroke Detroit diesel works. So intake valves, exhaust valves, fuel injector fires in the middle. So the rockers, uh, these are the two exhaust valves and this one would be the fuel injector. This is what squirts it. So it's, it's kind of like a Windex bottle. It sprays all the, it is pressurized fuel in the line that goes to it, but it's, you know, it's like 70 PSI, 75 PSI. Um, but everything happens by the injector being squirted down. So every time it squirts, it goes down, it, it sprays it out like a spray bottle, atomizes it, shoots it out. And the amount of fuel is controlled by the rack. There's a, there's a lever in here that's selecting on the fuel injector, how much fuel to spray. So that might be a little, a little explanation of how it works if you were confused. I know when you see four valves, you think, oh, that doesn't make sense, but they're all four exhaust valves. Hopefully that makes more sense to you.